Hey, Toy Addicts, this is Jody, and it's time for what's sold in January. And then I'll make another video for February because I know I'm kind of late with these. <laughs> if you have been uh, trying to watch videos from my channel, you haven't seen too many because I haven't been making too many. I don't know, it's just been a busy, crazy time of year. But this time I did want to show you a couple of sales that I have made on Mercari. And I'm going to show you January and February in this video. So I sold some stickers for $3.75. That was an offer. I don't usually sell things that low, but somebody made me the offer and I was like, ah, what the heck. I also sold a pair of Mary Jane shoes. These go for um, the Velvet Doll, Chrissy's Cousin Velvet Doll. And these sold for $16. And then a uh, Takara Japan uh, Leika Chan Doll booklet for $9. You know, I like those little booklets. And I have um, definitely scanned that booklet and have a video of it here on my channel as well as the full scans on my blog which is linked down in the description below if you want to look at those um <laughs> i also sold a set of strawberry shortcake vintage light covers i no longer had the light string that goes with these but um i have of course have these in my collection and came upon another set so i sold those for 24 dollars and a Playmobil Native American figure from series 11. They were like mystery bags that you could get. Um, that sold for $7.50. I made a video of the whole series seven because I bought a bunch of bags at the Dollar Tree and that was quite a while ago. Um, but I've been doing some inventory and found several of these um, were no longer listed. So, and that's been interesting. I've been going through and doing my inventory in each box. I probably have five to eight things that are no longer listed. Things I know were listed, but they're no longer listed. I don't know. So if you haven't done inventory in a while, you might want to just go through and check a few boxes and see if you see things that are not listed. And then you might have to go through and do a more deep inventory like I am because quite a few things that are not listed. All right, that was it for Macari. Let's look at Bonanza because I did sell a few things on Bonanza too. I sold this Pressman Small Fry Nurses Kit from the 1940s. Um, I had gotten it in a box, but the box was just in terrible condition and added quite a bit to the shipping. So I let go of the box and I put all the little pieces together and there's some really cute stuff in this set. Really cute. Um, I mean, you have the tongue depressors and you have the eye chart and you have, um, band-aids and a little nurse's cap and a stethoscope. Super cute set. I also sold this Maybelline, um, pencil sharpener. Now, again, I, I had bought several of these and was doing inventory and found one of these that was not listed. So all the other ones sold quickly. This one, when I, when I relisted it, sold also very quickly, twenty four seventy five. And this is a free comic day, comic book day, um, issue of the walking dead from 2013. I had gone to that free comic book day and picked this up with some other comics and, um, just listed them maybe like a year ago. This sold for $6.93. Now, when you list on Bonanza, and if you don't know what Bonanza is, Bonanza is, it's just another sales site, but what you can do is you can go onto the site and you hook it up to your eBay store. So when something sells on Bonanza, they automatically delist it from your eBay store. So there's no cross posting needed here. Um, th there are some funny quirks, like you have to have some sort of discount on Bonanza. 
um, from your eBay prices. So mine is just set at 1%. So this was $7 and it sold for $6.93. Um, and also they charge a 25 cent fee to purchase shipping on their site, unless you put shipping in like a bank account. So, but 25 cents, eh, whatever. So, and I don't sell a lot of stuff there, but once in a while things sell. So why not? Um, I also sold on Bonanza these backgammon pieces. Um, they are, I think they were Bakelite, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure. So I just said Bakelite or plastic. These sold for $24.75. I actually picked these up at the bins. I went to the bins for the first time in a long, long time about, um, probably about a month ago. And, um, this was one of my pickups from a backgammon game that was in there that wasn't complete, but, uh, somebody wanted these 24 75. And then I picked up this game card game luck plus. Um, I usually always pick this up if I find it for like a dollar. It's, um, it's like a uno sort of game and um, it usually sells for 10 to $15. I probably sold 10 or 15 of these. I just always pick it up if I see it. And, you know, it's one of those things that like you see and you just automatically pick it up because you know it will sell even if it's bread and butter. And this is some miscellaneous wrapping paper pieces with uh, Joan Walsh England characters on them. This sold for $10 and I have pennies into this from that ephemera sale that I went to. Um, I went to the Northwest largest garage sale in the fall. I believe it was in November and I got a bunch of stuff for, um, free at the sale. At the end of the day, a lot of people were giving free stuff away and uh, one booth, she said, everything in the booth is free. And so I just started jamming as many things as I could in my bag. And this isn't something I would usually look at to sell a Lennox picture frame, but I got it for free and it sold right away, like within a day or two for $24.75. All right, let's move over now to eBay. This is what sold on eBay in January. We'll get started right off with some ephemera. If you've watched my videos before, you know I went to an amazing ephemera sale about um, a year and a half ago, and I am still selling stuff from it. I will probably still be selling stuff from it for years because I got so many items and I'm still listing stuff from it. So <laughs> this is one of those items. This is a Lucy and Me Lucy rig. Um, paper doll greeting card. This sold for $7. Next to it here, I have a Villaroy and Bosch glassware um, catalog. Now, if you find Villaroy and Bosch dishes, they can do really well. The catalog, not so much. Sold it for $8 after like three years. I only paid a quarter for it, but still. Um, stickers, stickers. I've sold bunches of stickers lately. I sold a package of Valentine's Day stickers for $8. Some scratch and sniff candy cane snickers. Now, snickers, <laughs> stickers. Now, these aren't the vintage ones. If you find vintage scratch and sniff stickers, these are pretty, those are pretty good. These are from like the early 2000s and um, they are, they sold for $5. Mm -hmm. I sold a Mego Cowardly Lion for $14. And this over here is a pair of My Child doll shoes. Now you've heard me talk before about loving selling doll shoes. I do. And I wanted to show you these up close because I want you to be able to find these. Um, if it's going to load, here we go. I want you to be able to find these or recognize these. They are about the same size as a Cabbage Patch doll shoe. So about maybe two inches. And, um, these ones are little Mary Janes and they have these little kind of like flower petals on the front. I paid $2 for these at a sale and I sold them for $30 and they sold in like a day. My child items really sell well. Um, I usually will put also Cabbage Patch and Magic Nursery. Those all 
fit about the same dolls from the 80s. So um, 30 bucks for a pair of doll shoes. Yes, thank you. And then I got this little pink ceramic. It was from Target. It was a, a clearance Target item and it sold for $12. I paid, I believe, 99 cents at my local Goodwill. And over here we have a Chrissy cinnamon doll outfit. Now I bought this doll at um, a sale for $5 and I bought the doll and I sold her for 15 or $18, $18.50, I think. Um, she came with the outfit that I sold for 25 and she came with her shoes, which I sold for 15. So let's see, let's do the math there. 25, 40, 58, 50 is about what I got separating the doll, the outfit and the shoes. This doll with her outfit and shoes typically sells for about $25 to $30. So I did a lot better separating the doll, the outfit and the shoes. Sometimes it breaks my heart to do that, but if I know I'm going to get that much more, you know, double the money, I'll go ahead and do it usually. These are some um, kitty cat paper dolls that sold for $25. Um, these were, so it wasn't just these paper dolls. They bought a few other things from me as well. Some gumball candy containers and stuff. Um, but that was a lot that sold for $25. Often people will message me, especially if they're, um, international and ask me to build one listing if they want to buy more than one item so that they can combine the shipping because eBay doesn't have a good way right now with international shipping to combine um, the shipping costs and eBay international shipping is pretty spendy. International shipping in general is pretty spendy. So I put a bunch of stuff together in one package and sold a lot for $25. Um, and again, these the ephemera stuff from that big sale I have pretty much pennies into each thing. So if you don't hear me say what I paid for something, it was less than a dollar typically. Um, I'm not real big on telling you how much I paid for something because you're not, I mean, it's not a secret or anything. I don't pay much for anything, but you're not going to find it for the same price. So what's important is what it sells for, right? This teen boutique Saulfield paper doll book from 1973 sold for $18. Paper doll books are kind of hit and miss. I usually pick them up if they're cheap enough. Um, $18 is kind of hot on the higher end for this brand Saulfield. Unless you get some really old ones. Um, here's some more of that free stuff here. I got this Wedgwood ornament, figure skater ornament that sold for $15. And this Pennzoil um, service station cap sold for $23. And those were both free at that sale. Um, did I tell you guys about the free? S yes. I made a video recently, just a while back, about a sale that I went to where... Um, I got a bunch of free stuff. So um, I'll put a link to that video up here. This is a Hallmark ornament. I believe I actually bought this at Hallmark after, sometime after 2018 for 90% off. And someone bought it for 15 bucks. And this was one of the things when I went through my inventory was not listed. So 2018 to now, uh, or probably 2019 when I picked it up. So five years, who knows how long it hasn't been listed. Um, do your inventory, I guess, is the lesson there. Um, this is a little teeny tiny beanie matchbox doll. I never get very much for these, but I have a soft, soft spot for them. So uh, she sold for $9. I believe I got it for a dollar. Here's another one of those free things, Horofsky crystal ornaments candy cane ornament that sold for $25. And these Swarovski ornaments, I probably could have even listed them higher. I got a f I've got a few more up that you'll see. They all sold very quickly, pretty much as soon as I listed them. This is a Tommy Goof Around Golf wind-up board game. This is kind of like, do you ever see the, um, the, the, 
bowling alley golf set where it's a little bowling ball and you wind him up and he walks towards the pins. This is from that same line of toys. And this is a Madame Alexander doll. She's an eight inch doll and she's a nurse. Uh, Madame Alexander dolls, for the most part, unless they're really old or much newer, don't do that well. Um, the ones from the 70s and the 80s and the blue boxes, I mean, look them up because some of them are okay, but for the most part, sellers tend to think that they're worth a fortune and they're just not. And a lot of these dolls originally sold for like 60, 80, 100 dollars and you're selling them on eBay now for like 12, 15, 20 bucks. So it's kind of hard to get those at a decent price. This one, you know what? I honestly um I think I got it that the Northwest garage sale. I wasn't in the free stuff, but maybe I paid two fifty or five dollars for it. These treble clef spoons are, um, you've probably seen me selling these before. Last summer, I bought a bag full of, um, this flatware and I've been selling them off section by section. And I believe I got $25 for these. I paid $18 for the bag and I made 10 lots. So I've been pretty happy with that. There's another um, crystal pine cone ornament. This one I listed for $35. I took an offer of $32.50. Snoopy stickers went for $4.50 and some paper doll postcards went for $7 and $6. And then another um, crystal ornament that's an icicle and that also sold for $32.50. This Disney Parks red polka dot sweater I actually got as a Christmas gift um, last last year <laughs> and um, it was too big so I went ahead and sold it. Um, it sold for $55 which was actually a little bit higher than the original price and um, since it was a gift I went ahead and bought something else. Um, in the same kind of vein to um, also have as a gift. <laughs> uh, these are vintage Wendy's Kids Meal, the Good Stuff Gang cups. I don't remember the Good Stuff Gang, but um, I bought four sets of these at an estate sale for $8 or maybe three sets, three or four sets. I don't remember now. But anyway, these sold for $24.60. I had a sale going on, so um, they came down a little bit. Um, this is a USS Kentucky Navy plate. It's a Homer Laughlin, so the same company that makes Fiesta wear. I picked it up at a sale for a dollar, and I had it for quite a while, but it sold for $18. It's one of those really heavy, heavy dinnerware plates, you know. Um, I just thought it was kind of unusual, so I picked it up. These little Santas are teeny tiny dollhouse size paper dolls and they sold for $8. Tupperware toys can do pretty well. Usually I'll pick them up. These stencil sets um, sell pretty well. Usually there's at least, um, if you get at least eight, there's a couple of different sets, but if you get at least eight, they usually do a lot better than if you only get like three or four. And this, uh, I paid $2 for this box here and it sold for $20. And we have a cute little Cabbage Patch Boy over here. He's from 1983 and he sold for $23.50. Cabbage Patch Dolls, um, the more information you can put in the title, the better um, and more likely you are to sell it because Cabbage Patch Dolls can really be, um, you know, up and down. You don't know how much they're going to go for. So if you can tell the head mold, which you can do a Google search, Cabbage Patch Head Molds, to see which head mold you have. If you can do the factory, which is actually on the tag on their little side, it is in a circle. And if you can put the year, which is printed on their butt, and if they come with papers, all that usually adds to the value if you have all of that information because collectors are really searching for specific dolls. Um, and that, I mean, that kind of goes for a lot of things, more information you can put. Um, you know, if I just put Cabbage Patch Doll Boy, um, 
it probably would have sold for a lot less and taken a lot longer to sell. This is an Anastasia paper doll book. Again, I've sold so many paper doll books in the last couple of years. Um, I paid a dollar for this one and it sold for 11. These little porcelain German cloth body dolls also got for free at that sale and they sold for $35. Some gem shoes sold for $9. This was a fun photograph I picked up. I called it a girl boss woman at a desk in an office. It sold for $8. I paid 10 cents for it. And this is a golden gardenia cologne bottle. I paid 20 cents for it and it sold for $10. This Snoopy Bell I got for free and it sold for $18. And this Hallmark Christmas ornament of Hedwig the Owl I also got free. That sold for $10. I believe I sold two of those on here um, for $10 each. And this is some more paper doll ephemera from that estate sale that sold for $20. And that, you know, is about 10 cents worth of stuff. This little Hasbro Dolly Darlings doll sold for $33. These can do pretty well, but if you have their accessories, those are really hard to find. They do a lot better. So $33 was a nice return on her. Mego um, Tin Man, I bought from at that Northwest Largest Garage Sale. He wasn't free. He came from a different um, seller, but I only paid a dollar for him, and he sold for $18. And this is a Campbell's Kids cardboard cutout. I don't know if it was a store display or what it was from, but I paid $2 for this. I thought it was interesting. Um, I guess people don't find these as interesting as I did because it only sold for 10 bucks. Uh, Yosemite National Park postcards also got for free. Those sold for $13.50. And then this one here that says don't feed the bears. I thought was real cute. That sold for $10. Both to the same buyer. This was another one of those found to be unlisted after the um, great inventory search. <laughs> um, Minecraft box, empty box, sold for $6. I got these pins at the um, garage sale, Northwest garage sale too. And they're book it pins. If you remember in the eighties, Pizza Hut did a, um, a promotion where if you read like 10 books at school, then you would get a coupon and you could go to Pizza Hut and buy or get a free personal pan pizza. So those of you eighties kids out there, you probably remember that. <laughs> and the program was called book it. And so I had found some pins from it. So I bought those four for a dollar and um, they sold for $13.50. And those sold quick too. Um, this is another piece of Tammy, the Ideal Dolls House. It's kind of like a Barbie dream house kind of situation from the 60s. And that sold for $13.50. It's just one little replacement piece. Um, this is a McDonald's Happy Meal box. I did an estate sale clean out a couple of years ago and just got a ton of stuff from that sale. Some stuff that I wouldn't necessarily pick up to sell like Happy Meal boxes, but I had it. So I listed it and it sold a short two and a half years later for $5. <laughs> okay, this little guy over here, he's so cute. This is a blue cow plush he's 11 inches tall from the character novelty company he's from the 50s and he was in excellent excellent like brand new shape his fur was soft he's um definitely sort of sawdust filled so he's kind of hard but not super hard so there was some stuffing in there too i don't know it's hard to explain anyway and it had a little cowbell on it. Just super cute. I listed it really high. Um, and I ended up taking an offer for, I believe I sold it for $58. But uh, just super cute. I love that thing. <laughs> These are some stickers I got for free. Uh, sold for $8. There's that Chrissy doll. She went for $18.50. Another free item. Funko Pop. Um, Big Trouble in Little China. 
Um, he sold for $20, uh, low, the low pan character. These little German um, toy play food items sold for $9. And then these little Denison owls, just a few of the gummed owls. Denison is something to look out for. Um, office supplies by Denison, old ones and gummed labels and stuff people tend to really like. So there were just a few owls left in this care in this uh, container and they sold for nine dollars. Ten dollars for three pair of Barbie shoes and ten dollars for a Tammy hat. Two packages of Denison stickers. I got these on a Bolo Buddies um, whatnot show. And those sold for $7. Here's a pair of Cabbage Patch Kid shoes. They're from the designer line. And I paid $2.50 for these. I got them at the same time as those other yellow shoes. And these sold for $24. And then some more of those German little mini groceries. Um, these sold for $12 each, these packages. Uh, Gem, Gem and the Holograms shoes pumps, heels. <laughs> Those sold for $8. And then um, more items from that ephemera sale. I just got these cards listed. They were um, ladies from different eras of time. So this is from 1770, 1780, and 1790, and the different types of fashions from those years. So they're really kind of interesting cards. But these three cards sold for $25. And here's a little cookie, uh, cookie monster in his little clown Halloween outfit that sold for $9. And some rub-on transfers sold for 6 this is a little Popples, Rockstar Popple, Punkity Popple um, pin that sold for $11. These boxer shorts uh, my aunt had in her attic since probably like the 90s. And um, they sold for $20. They were new with tags. Not selling used boxer shorts, but these were new with tags. <laughs> These are some little booklets for a ginger doll from 1957. And you know that I made a video, scanned all these in and made a video. So you can check that here on my channel or all the scans. Whenever I do those um, little booklets, I like to scan them in so that I can use them for reference later. They're great reseller reference if you're a reseller in these, these little booklets. Tons of them on my channel, and then also um, linked below is my blog, um, www.toy-addict.com, and I always put them over there too, so you can see close up the items from the little booklet. So if you tend to um, end up with a ginger doll and you need to know more information about it, I've got the booklet there on my website. <laughs> I thought this was the cutest thing. This is a um, Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, uh, a little bank, and they're just sitting on a little couch together. It was super cute, like 50s style, um, kind of the style of like pl planters, you know, the little planters that were so um, popular in the 50s and 60s. Um, but it was a bank. It's a penny bank. Maybe to save up for Christmas presents. I don't know. Some more of those um, fashionable lady cards sold for $25, another set of three. This gal was a Moroccan folklore doll. I've had her forever. She sold for $8. And a Valentine's Day mail carrier die cut. He sold for $11. And some Valentine's Day sticker cards sold for $8. And this is a Betsy Clark puzzle. Betsy Clark is a Hallmark character from the 70s. Sort of resembles Precious Moments. I mean, I don't know who came first, but I feel like Betsy Clark did. I don't know for sure, though. <laughs> but um, Betsy Clark um, can do really well. Some of her items can sell for a good amount of money. This puzzle actually usually goes for about $35, but it was missing a piece. So it sold for 20. Um, this 
is 14 cutout postcards. Um, they're not actually cut out, but you need to cut them out to make <laughs> all kinds of different little kind of paper dolly type things, paper art things. They sold for $9 for the lot. And um, this is a promotional page for strawberry shortcake shoelaces, and that sold for $7. And another one of those Lucy Rig um, greeting cards sold for $8. I can't believe that I've had this listed for a long time. It's a um, vintage doll's milk bottle, but it's not a regular bottle. It's a bottle from the 30s. It doesn't look like the like baby bottle or doll bottle you would think of. It's very interesting, but for whatever reason, I did not put a picture of the actual bottle in the tile in the in the main picture of the listing i don't know why that's probably why it took so long to sell um <laughs> they actually used to make these glass bottles that would lay down next to the baby so the baby could lay down and drink out of this glass bottle which they found to be kind of dangerous and a choking hazard but <laughs> and this little doll bottle was one of those but i don't know why i didn't put a picture of it in there I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this is um, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. She is from um, Beatrix Potter Stories, and she sold for $13. I bought her and some other Beatrix Potter plush at a local thrift store for $3 a piece. And um, they don't sell that well. I thought they would do a little bit better, but uh, she was the first one to sell. I had a bunch of Pokemon cards. Again, when I was doing the inventory, I found a whole bag of Pokemon cards. And I mean, I can imagine I never listed these because I just, there's just so much to know about Pokemon cards, you know? So um, I kind of watched a few videos to see what I could figure out. And I went through and listed them all. These two sold for $10, which I'm, there was a $3 sticker on the bag. I'm sure I bought it like 10 years ago or something. Who knows? But um, <laughs> so I made all my money back just by selling these two cards. Um, these were interesting. In the 90s, in our local paper, the Oregonian, they had this little strip along the side of the, the cover of the arts and leisure section that was like jokes or trivia or whatever. And they called it the edge. And I like to read it every day. So I would cut it out of the paper every day. And I had like a hundred of them, a whole pile of them. And when I was cleaning out my closet recently, I came upon them and it was like, mm, somebody else will want these. And they did, 15 bucks. <laughs> this is a vintage um, Revlon, I was, I'm going to say Nissan Ultima, Revlon Ultima <laughs> lipstick that sold for $10. Some more Pokemon cards. These sold for $19.25. I put them on auction. I had like 14 lots and I put them on, um, all of them on auction because I just didn't know. Right. And, um, this lot sold for $19.25. These na 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 dolls I also got for free at that the Northwest Garage sale. They sold for twenty, and some Sylvanian family bears. These sold for sixteen. Uh, Scrabble game, travel Scrabble. I believe I picked this up for a dollar, and it sold for eleven dollars. And this little vintage Boston Terrier Valentine sold for seven. A postcard a rppc which stands for real photo postcard or real picture postcard um, of Asheville, north carolina sold for 15 dollars what rppc means is that it's actually an actual photo printed on photo paper with like uh postcard information printed on the back um so it's not your typical like cardboard postcard. It's an actual photo. And um, those can do better um, than the cardboard ones. 
And this one is from an, like an aerial view of Asheville, North Carolina. And aerial views seem to do pretty well too. So I paid a dollar for this, I believe, and I sold it for 15 um, and there are four Pokemon cards here that sold together for $41. They're like the shiny holographic ones. So someone was excited about those. I was excited to get $41 for them. <laughs> this is a Pepperan paper doll book that sold for $10 and I paid a dollar for it. And another lipstick. This is actually from the 1950s, this one. So it's kind of a neat one with a metal tube and the colorful tube and everything. These are some Edison Mazda lamps for a 1923 to 1928 Ford or Auburn vehicle. These I got for free at that Northwest garage sale and sold for $25. This is a greeting card that sold for $12 and another greeting card that sold for $9. There's that other Hedwig ornament I was telling you about. This one sold for nine. Jefferson High School, which is a Portland, Oregon high school. Um, these pins sold for the night from, from the 1960s sold for $10. And this is just a lot of um, pictures out of a Disney book that I picked up and was damaged. And so I just cut all the pictures out and um, sold them as a scrap lot. This is a little advertising brain teaser book from 1934 that sold for $8. And these little book plates, you put, you know, this book belongs to, these sold for 11. This Kenner Toy Fair dealer catalog from 1974 sold for $27.50, bought it for $10, and then, of course, made a video of it. You know, I got a video of it, and I've got all the scans on the website um, for good reference, and then um, listed it for resale. This is a lot of Strawberry Shortcake clone dolls that sold for $23 and a gem replacement boot that sold for $10, just the one boot. This is an Order of the Eastern Star ashtray set. Also not something I typically pick up, but I did get these for free So at that sale. So they sold for $15. And then also from the ephemera sale, I got these Valentines. All they said on them for any like copyright information was Laura Scudder. And when I looked that up, all I could find was information about potato chips. So I kind of looked into it and it was a potato chip company from California, sort of a regional company. They never made any kind of holiday items or cards or anything like that. So I just, I think correctly assumed that these were promotional items that came inside a chip bag. Also, they were like long and skinny, so they would fit in like a chip bag or a box. And so I listed those for 20 and they sold pretty quickly. Six or so months ago, I bought a bunch of artist teddy bears from somebody on an high bid auction. I paid $4 a bear. And um, these two um, Lumber, the Lumber Jack and the Blue Bear, which are obviously supposed to be Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. Um, this little set sold for $115. So cute. They had damage though. These, I think I would have gotten quite a bit more for these, but they did both have some damage, unfortunately. But a hundred, you know, $4 into 115 is pretty good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> This is a little lot of Kelly doll clothes that I put together of some miscellaneous Barbie stuff that I've had laying around. Kelly doll clothes does well. $12 for this little set. A single catalog page from Awards 1974 catalog of Tiffany Taylor doll that sold for $9. Just the one catalog page. This is um, Wet n Wild After Shower Bath Splash Cologne. These were, I picked these up at a sale a couple of years ago. They were um, from the 80s and I couldn't find any comps on them, but I know people like, you know, nostalgia. That's 
pretty much what I sell, right? Of <laughs> these from the 80s. And so um, I paid a dollar for this set and I started them high. I started them at like a hundred dollars and I kind of brought them down and brought them down and brought them down. And um, at $55, somebody sent me an offer. I think I sold them for 40, but I'm still good with a dollar into 40. <laughs> This is a little mini NFL helmet. I bought a whole bag full of these. They weren't really a set. It wasn't all the teams or anything. So I listed them individually, which I guess was kind of stupid, but I kind of thought, well, if I list them all together, I'm not gonna do that well, cause it's not a whole set, but yeah. So anyway, I'm selling them for like six, I sold them for like six to $12 each, depending on the team. So this one sold for six bucks. Some State of Oregon seals sold for $6. Um, this one little tiny sheet of stickers sold for $8. Greeting card for seven. These AmeriCard Valentine copies. Um, from that ephemera sale, I had a bunch of copies of these cards. The original cards, I, I have a bunch of the originals as well and have sold those for about 12 to $20 each, each single card. But she also had copies of a bunch of the ones she didn't have. So I just put them all together in lots and sold the whole lot for $10. And of course, I mentioned that there were reproduction copies in there that they weren't the originals. This is a photo that I couldn't identify. Um, it was a saloon or bar interior and um, interior photos and postcards tend to do well because you see a lot of, you know, postcards or photos of the outside of places, but not always the inside. So this one, um, I, I said, you can see images of old pioneer whiskey, um, lashes and Heimrich brothers, different alcohols that were mostly from San Francisco. So I assume that it was from San Francisco, although the buyer did say he thought maybe it was from um, Seattle. So who knows? Either way, five by seven photo sold for $40, which was nice because this was one of the free items from that sale. And this is a little Kittle Betty by Biddle doll, and she sold for $22. Another lot of those Americards sold for $10, and there's those shoes that sold for $15. Precious Places, this is a little, an, again, a little booklet um, that came with Precious Places items. It's a Fisher-Price toy from the 80s, and that sold for $13. Another one of those helmets sold for $6, some stickers for $8 three more of those fashionable ladies from 1800, 1810, and 1850, and they sold for $23.50. And then another three, also to the same buyer, um, 1820, 1830, and 1840, and those also sold for $23.50. More doll shoes, Barbie um, boots that uh, went with Hollywood hair Barbie, those sold for $12. And another paper doll book, $17.50 for Raggedy Ann and Andy. Another interior photo. This is actually not a photo. It's a postcard from the Athens Hotel in Portland. That sold for $10. A strawberry shortcake chair, rocking chair. This sold for $13.50. This is not vintage. It was from the early 2000s, but I guess that is vintage now. <laughs> And uh, some more paper doll items sold for $8. This little OK Cater doll uh, sold, after going back and forth and back and forth with someone, I gave her a deal at $25. And then she still had complaints when she got the doll because of course she did. <laughs> this is one single scratch and stiff, scratch and sniff sticker. That sold for $7.50. That's a vintage one. Angelina Ballerina paper doll book sold for $9. Some Hallmark gift label stickers sold for $6. 
Smurfs. This is just the sticker that was on the front of Smurfs in the Magic Flute VHS that sold for $10. Care Bears um, fabric. I had bought a whole bunch of this, like 20, 30 pieces, something like that. And this was the very last one to sell after a couple of years. This is a lot of cassette tapes from book and tape sets. I didn't have the books, just the tapes. This was in my garage from my teaching days, and this sold for $16. A vintage menu from Plans Coffee Shop in Oakland, California, sold for $29.97. Not sure where the $97 came from. I usually list things at even numbers, but who knows? <laughs> This little Smurf pencil grabber hugger clip-on toy sold for $7. What do you call those little clip-on toys where they like grab onto things like a pencil or whatever? I've heard different people call them different things and I never know what to call them. So tell me in the comments down below what you call those. Um, Trivial Pursuit game sold for $15. That was sealed. Awesome vintage art supplies. I love selling vintage art supplies. I bought these for a dollar. They sold for $28. Um, more Barbie shoes or more doll shoes. These Barbie shoes sold for $11. This was a scrapbook that came from that ephemera sale. It just had a bunch of random articles about dolls and stuff in it. Um, newspaper articles and advertising and all kinds of stuff just randomly glued in there. And it sold for $35. Heck, I'll take that. This is a menu from the Harbor House restaurant in San Diego in the 1950s. And that sold for $30. Some more stickers sold for 6 and 7 and 7 and a Jurassic Park watch sold for 35 And then on the very last day of January, I sold this, um, this is one of these like puppy dogs with a little leashed or dogs with a little leashed puppies. Or you can sometimes you get like cats with little kittens. I've even seen like elephants with little baby elephants. But um, this one is actually from 101 Dalmatians. It sold for $20. It would have done better, but it had some damage. There were some breakage. One of the puppies wasn't attached to the chain anymore. So it took a while to sell and it sold for $20. And... Um, this is another piece of that Tammy doll house that sold for $10. And then this is a Barbie Western Fun pink felt corduroy hat that sold for $6. And this is also a Barbie booklet that sold for $7. Oh, that sold in February. I guess you got a sneak peek of February. <laughs> Okay, guys, hopefully it won't take me too long to get that February video out. Hopefully I'll get it out before the end of March. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me. Um, let me know what you thought about these sales. And thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video. Give me a comment. And um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.